Welcome to week 20, starting my business, Vlog. Been editing a lot of videos, just got back from the gym, so I figured I'll show y'all what I'm eating. It's about two o'clock, I haven't eaten a thing yet. What I like to do, especially when I'm dieting, I usually don't eat until like mid-afternoon, like now, right? I won't have anything, I'll just have like coffee, caffeine, will keep me going. Keeps me focused. If I don't eat a lot during the morning and stuff, I can, I, I'm most focused on my work during that. I'm not worrying about food or anything. And when I have my first meal, I make it a big meal, but I make it very, <coughs> whoo, excuse me, very like protein packed. So not a lot of fat or carbs for the most part. So what I'm doing right now is I, I love these bags of like Tyson chicken. They're basically like pre-made kind of chicken. You just throw them right on the skrill, skrillix, right on the skillet. Or you could throw it in the oven, which I just did for the first time yesterday and it actually came out good. So I got about 12 ounces of the chicken, throw it in there for about 15 minutes. Put a shitload of veggies on the skillet, so like a little stir fry action. I'm actually eating one of these cans of tuna, which is, I know y'all will probably be like, that's disgusting. I honestly like agree with you. It's a rare, rare time that you'll ever see me eat eat this but it's super high in protein it's 25 or 30 grams in just one of those little cans for like 150 calories so that entire meal with all the chicken shitload of veggies tuna comes out to around 650 calories 105 grams of protein 65 percent of the protein that i have for the day i'm gonna be pretty full after i eat all that <clears throat> that'll leave me with like a lot of carbs and fat to eat for the rest of the day it's friday so probably not gonna go out so i don't have to worry about like alcohol calories or anything like that but if i want to you know eat some shit tonight i can because it will fit into my to my diet plans also if you're gonna eat like tuna like this throw a bunch of different seasoning on i put like sweet onion salt on it and like garlic pepper and I'll actually, let me see what else we got in here. I don't wanna put like sauce on it cause it's already like kind of like wet, not liquid based, but I like putting mustard on it. Gives it a little like, not spice, but oh, you know what I could put? Sriracha ranch dressing. I got this from Trader Joe's, 80 calories, eight grams of fat. So it's pretty fatty, but that's for 30 grams. I probably don't need 30 grams of this. Spice it up a little bit. Maybe I'll do half of that and then half regular mustard. That's a little thing I like to do. Not eat for a while. And then when I do eat a huge like protein pack meal that'll keep you full until like dinner. And then by that time you can kind of eat whatever you want because you have a lot of food left over in your diet. One more tip for y'all. If you have trouble getting your veggies in, your greens in, just immature, you just can't grow up, mom's still fighting to get your veggies in your mouth. Here's what I would suggest. If you're gonna get broccoli, make sure you get the Nature's Promise broccoli florets because they're a lot smaller and they cook way better. Put the skillet on, put the heat up high. So you got a big ass flame, because that, that's how they do stir fries, right? I put a little bit of spray on there and then I let all the veggies sit for like a good five or six minutes on the skillet with it on high, so they char up some of it like here. And I'll have them on the skillet for a good like 12, 15 minutes cooking. And then maybe after like eight or 10 minutes of them just sitting there by themselves, like charred up, then start throwing some shit on. Throw soy sauce on there, seasoning, some salt, pepper, garlic pepper, and normally I have minced garlic, like the little chopped up garlic that are like tiny. I'll throw a shitload of it on there. Tastes way better. Burn the edges of the broccoli. It makes it taste way better. It's not like soft and mushy. And that's probably why a lot of people don't like broccoli to begin with. You gotta get those micronutrients in, player. And there you have it, is a finished product. Shitload of chicken over a little bed of veggies. We only have this much regular Diet Pepsi and that much Diet Pepsi Wild Cherry. So they're gonna have a baby. Damn, I definitely had enough for a regular cup of one of them. Yeah, tastes like Diet Pepsi. How we doing, how you been? I don't know what song this is. I'm listening to New Music Friday playlist. Saturday morning, July 29th, around 8.20 a.m. So I've been up for like an hour already. I know I had to do some work on the business. And now I'm headed to the gym. I'm going to Pier 13 in Hoboken. It's like an outdoor pier. Food truck, like bars and stuff on the pier. Only problem is it's like downpouring right now. So I'm hoping the weather stays up. The whole pier is like turf. So rain really shouldn't be an issue. I, I think it's supposed to stop raining. Either way, we're gonna turn that shit into a slip and slide if it's still raining. Pour a marg on your boy and let me slide through the rain. What song was that that first came on? Quiet? It's called Sweet. This is a smooth hit. Sweetest Life by Quiet. K W A Y E. Quay? Quiet? I don't know if that's going on in some kind of playlist. Got a little stir before the stir. 
you know what I mean? S-T-E-R before the S-T-I-R. What I've been doing lately a lot before I go to the gym, putting like a tiny, a tiny bit of like two or three different pre-workouts, because I have a ton at my house, a fifth of a scoop of one, and then like a fifth of a scoop of another, and I'll just like put it at the bottom of a cup, and then I'll pour Monster, and I actually mix it with like Red Powerade Zero, a little drink concoction there. So it's not like a crazy amount of caffeine or stimulants, because it's just like a little bit of a scoop, a little bit of a scoop of that. How you doing? How you doing? I've been watching The Sopranos lately. This is the first time I've been going through the series. An incredible series, by the way. And I can't stop saying, hey, how you doing? 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 Unbelievable. It's actually be starting to become a problem. I st I've stopped dabbing, and now I can't stop saying, how you doing? It's out of control. Now, I don't even know what I'm going to work out. My legs are sore as mother father. I feel like my hamstring could pop at any moment. I'm driving. I'm just sitting in my driver's seat. I feel like it might pop right now. I did like 600 sets of lunges last time I was in the gym. So today I might do a back and arms, actually. I haven't done like an arms focused workout in a long time. So maybe I'll, I'll walk on the treadmill for like 20 minutes and then do arms and back. Like a lot of pull up. Some little triceps, bicep. So we get three fucking pretzels. What kind of bullshit is it? Explain yourself. Explain I yourself. Pretzels are good. I don't even know how that was sitting up. Maybe oh, no. that's how I got the little bruise on my nose. That's why Al, Al, Bill said he woke up and his neck was sore because we were doing that. All right, fam, we're going to try this. What's up? First off, shout out um, Larry Styles. I feel like I need to give him a shout out. I got a shout out, Yaz. I got a shout, shout out, Yaz. Yaz. Man, I know she's my biggest fan on these YouTube videos, and I know she loves me, and I love you too. I feel like Larry doesn't get his recognition, man. Like, So we went out to Pier 13 in Hoboken yesteryear. Jersey season, by the way. Dookies! We are in Hoboken yesterday, Pier 13. Team. It's like an outdoor pier basically and there's food trucks. Tell you what, they do not skimp on the tequila at these places. I'm telling we hopped you, into New York City like some kangaroos. Those buckets had at least like 16 shots of tequila, you know. And uh, don't text and drive by the way, it's not good or good for you. You know it is good and good for you, Chinese food. So I would just order 30. You know what's epic? Came out to $35 and like 48 cents. And I looked at my wallet from last night at $36. Like that's how you know it's gonna be. A, it's gonna a, be a good day. We're gonna have a day. It's It got Mikey meatballs in the back hey. seat. Mikey meatballs, gabagools. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one back there. Yeah, yeah, so then we hopped into New York City. You know, I can't bring my camera around and show that stuff on camera. A young gabagool. Even though I wish I could to you guys. But if you want to see more ignorant stuff, I have a lot of ignorant friends. You can follow me on Snapchat. It's all in the description below. You can follow me on Instagram. I'll put Brandon's Instagram handle on there. It's a beautiful day out. Sunday. I don't think I mentioned that. I don't remember. What time is it? One o'clock? It's uh, 12.43. 12.43. We're just trying to prosper. Game of Thrones tonight. Yeah, now we're at Stop and Bop. You like my shades? So you can put them oh, up. Yeah. You can put them down. They're really skinny, so they look weird when they're down. But go one at a time, you know, if you want to wink at somebody. There's a photo booth at Pier 13, and some girl left... Her picture in there, the middle one, you see her? I'm in love. So if anyone, if you are that girl and you've ever watched my videos, please slide in my DMs. I will marry her. If anyone knows her, please let her know I'm looking for her. All right, now we're at Stop and Bop. We're gonna get some little drankies because the only way to beat a hangover, if you can't beat them, join them, right? If you can't beat them, eat them. As a good friend of mine, Jeff, Pharrell, you're so for real. Jeffrey Dahmer once said, you know I'm gonna be drinking White Monster today. I'm probably gonna do a little uh, Sprite action. He can't drink Monster because he gets anxiety from it yeah. because we went on vacation like two years ago in the Outer Banks. We brought like two 30 cases of Monster and probably I probably had 20 Monsters in one day once. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> Got a hail of top ice cream. I'll tell you what. These people need to stop having shopping. a garage sale because they've had one for two straight months every weekend. It's is. not even legal. Like stop. Chinese food. I just got a new order. So, so I always like, you know, I like expensive sunglasses. They look good and everything, but I always lose them. So I get a pair of Ray-Bans. I either lose them or like a pair I just got. Some girl has them now. It's a long story. We'll get into it another time. But I'm just like, fuck it. I just dropped like 50 bucks on like five different pairs of shades from Amazon. They're like 12 bucks each, 10 bucks each. Regular, a black pair, a disc pair, a blue pair. Whoa, those two? 
Oh, so all these together were like 50 bucks and I'm like, whatever. Five pairs for 50 bucks rather than getting one pair for like 170 and then losing it. Also got a box of Proton Bars. I gotta show you guys a website. I think I've mentioned it on my channel before. So there's riznos.com, R-I-Z, focus. And it basically just puts up, scours the web for daily deals, all kind of stuff like TVs, tech, sunglasses. And they update it like literally daily. So you can check that out if you're ever looking for supplements. This is another really good one. It's called Fitness Deal News. This is all like fitness and nutrition related. So if you're looking to buy like supplements or any protein bars, protein cookies, they have really good deals on here. So I would suggest checking that out if you're ever ordering supplements. And that's that. We're going to chill. What are we going to do? Are we just going to be ignorant and probably listen to Bronson? All right. We're just going to chill. Eat a bunch of choy noise food. We're absolutely just dominating this Sunday right now. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Some stirs, goat, Reese's. They don't know why I bought those, but we did. A little cola, a little teeters. Always in moderation, fam. Some pork fried rice. Beef and brocks, white rice, and some got a sweet Asian chick. She go low is main. Is that hot sauce on fucking peaches? That's how you do drones. Don't be spumonies, baby. How are you feeling? Good, but I'm also feeling like. After I told you how much food that we had. It was all Chinese. That's how I always feel with Game of Thrones. It's cracking. It's Thursday morning, so the last day of this episode, August 3rd. I couldn't really sleep last night, so I've been up for like since like 5.30. What I'm doing right now is I want to start running some Facebook ads to to my site, Big Dog's Gotta Eat website. Because every video I do, fantasy football wise, I also do a blog post for. It's not like I really do double the work. It's basically everything I would say in my YouTube video. I get it out as I write it down first. So it's pretty much already in blog form. I just have to tighten it up a little bit and then I post it. And that's pretty much what I say through my YouTube videos. But now that it's August, a lot more people are getting ready for their fantasy football draft. So I think I could drive traffic in pretty well because because I'm running a campaign for another client. One of the campaigns I'm running for them is just a traffic campaign. So we're trying to get link clicks onto the through the ad to the website. And we're seeing really good results. We have a few of the ads going at three cents a click. So we're paying three cents per Facebook user to click on the ad, which is like incredible. So I'm thinking because this is like hype popularity for fantasy football, I could kind of get similar results using some of the articles I've written and the, and the videos I've done, whether it's like top sleepers, top breakout candidates, like really general stuff that a, that a large majority of the public would latch on. So I'm setting up ads right now. I gotta keep the budget small, obviously, because I can't spend the amount of money on Facebook ads that like my clients can. Trying to cut my damn lawn. I let the grass grow way too high. I keep getting stuck at the bottom of the mower. I keep shutting off, lifting it up and getting the grass out. I'm like cutting myself over here, painting my ass. Best day of the week to cut your grass, Friday. Cause new music Friday. Sometimes you have a lawnmower from the 1950s. I keep lifting it up every two steps. I like have hydraulics on my lawnmower. I'm trying to finish this up. Sick, dude. People's up to this point, this vlog has been has nothing to do with anything. So I'm gonna carry it over for the first time ever into Friday, because that's what day it is right now. I've been so focused on filming fantasy football videos that I like didn't get any content for this week other than me and Brandon just being stupid on Sunday. What have I been up to this week? So I've been running the campaign for the barber shop. We've gotten like four or five applicants to come through. So hopefully we can get a barber hired for them. The fantasy football e-commerce business is going really, 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 really well. We're actually fucking killing that campaign, which is exciting. And then I'm going out to Cali next Tuesday. So you'll see this, this comes out tomorrow morning. So not the Tuesday and like three days after that, but the week after that, I go to California for a week from Tuesday to Tuesday. So I'm trying to get everything settled fantasy football wise, like all the videos queued up so that when I'm there, cause I'm gonna be with uh, family in San Fran for a couple days and I'm gonna visit my friend and I'm staying with him for the full weekend. So I'm not gonna be like filming fantasy football videos while I'm there. So I have to make sure I got queued up for like a week worth of videos and stuff. I'll be filming for the vlog purposes and I'm actually going to visit one of my clients out there, a warehouse 40 minutes away from where my friend works. So that'll be fun and I'll take you guys along with me there. I'm about to, I just mowed my lawn. Mom oh, just made a rec world record time, Trader Joe's. I didn't go, I had my slippers on. So? I wasn't getting out of the car with them, so I came back to Trader Joe's. Mom's worried about what people think she wears slippers to Trader Joe's. What else? Sunday night was great, by the way, Game of Thrones. Season is oh, so good so far. 
Other shows you have to watch. I'm dying up here. I think on Showtime. You gotta check that out. Bowlers, I don't know. I watch Bowlers, but it's really, honestly, the show kind of sucks, but it's entertaining, something to watch. Dude, I get so off tangent when I do this shit. I just mow my lawn, therefore I'm sweating, so I might as well go to the gym. It'll be about four o'clock by the time I'm back, and then I'm heading into Brooklyn. Fun fact, I was born in Brooklyn. So my grandparents are living right now, so I'm going out to dinner with them and my sister later in the night. Maybe I'll take you guys along with me. Probably not. I don't even know if my grandparents know how the interwebs work. So this could be me signing off. If it is, thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed, even though this was the most pointless vlog of all time. Give it that thumbs up anyways. Maybe we made you laugh one time. Probably not, but possibly. If we did, give it that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you all next week. Peace.